lining up buying things like normal stuff. Well, I actually bought a whole bunch of Funko Pops. Um, today I have an Adam Savage panel as well as an Adam Savage signing. So I'm really excited for that because uh, the signing especially sorry, it's only available for 150 people and I was number one. Um, but check out all of those people. There are lines everywhere including the bathroom. Hi everyone, so this is my New York Comic Con 2017 recap and haul. Uh, I bought a lot of stuff, it's here on my left hand side, and we're going to kind of go through it, but um, I wanted to talk a little bit first about the con itself. Um, I had a lot of fun this year, uh, especially the fact that I got to meet uh, Adam Savage. I got to shake his hand, I got a signed print from him. Um, I also kind of did more of a relaxed walking around kind of thing this year. Last year I spent a lot of time lining up for toys and I didn't want to do that this year. Uh, so I just kind of walked around looking for things to buy. I only went two days. I went Thursday and Friday and I bought quite a bit but all of it on Thursday. So that's not too bad. So let's get started. So on Thursday, I got to meet Adam Savage, as I said. Um, there was a signing for his new book, uh, along with Drew Curtis. There were about 150 tickets that uh, were given out to people, and you had to go. It was first come, first serve. And I was actually number one. I probably you've seen my recap video, and you, you know I mentioned it. So this is the print itself. I got to shake his hand, uh, both of their hands, and just talk to him for a little bit. He's very personable, very likable. Uh, super excited because now I feel like I can make anything because I, I do look up to him and I hope he's watching this, but um, if you are, you really inspire me as I mentioned you know, to you in person. So super excited about this. I think this is, this made my New York Comic Con to be honest just to be able to talk to him and to shake his hand I also went to the Star Talk panel on Thursday uh, it was hosted by Neil deGrasse Tyson and also included Adam Savage um, Chuck Nice I believe as well as an academic I'm sorry I forgot his name right now um, it was a very interesting panel it was about human augmentation and it could be biomedical or technology how we augment humans it could be like our phone or whatever um, and improve our lifestyle so if you are if you didn't get to go check that out i believe they release new episodes every friday so i'm thinking that the near comic con live panel or recording will be available this friday which is october 13th so let's move on to what I bought. So some of these are actually also my husband's. Um, so I guess I'm cheating there a little bit. But he loves Star Wars and he also is a huge, huge fan of, of, of history. So he bought four prints that has both of them there. I was actually pretty surprised he bought it because he's not a type of person to buy random things. Uh, so very, very surprised he did. It's actually really nice. Now, the problem is finding where to hang these. Really nice. I'm also a big fan of Star Wars, so pretty happy he bought these too. I'm also starting with prints and I have all my toys to the side. So I'm also a huge fan of Lilo and Stitch. So anything Lilo and Stitch, I most likely will buy. This year I got this cool drawing from, let me take a look, I forgot the name of the guy, but here is his information. It's www.justbuzz.com. But look how nice this is. Very, very cute. I feel like Lilo is the epitome of me. Like, she's me. Um, I love everything about her. About the movie, everything. 
So the next artist is Katie Cook. Uh, I found her last year. A friend told me about her. She does a lot of custom drawings. Uh, they're $10 and they're cute little 4x3 cards. You just tell her what you want and it is $10 uh, max 2. And they're a little watercolor and also max 2 characters per drawing. So uh, I got her to draw these two for me. Hopefully you guys can see it. One is Yoda and Dumbo, and then Dumbo with a blue vacuum. Uh, the reason why I have these two characters is my husband is Yoda, and my son is Dumbo. And my son loves to vacuum with a blue little vacuum cleaner. So there you go. So that's why I got that. She also illustrated a few books. Uh, one of them is ABC3PO and another is uh, OB123. So it's for kids. Uh, this year I saw this book, co coloring book, for a Star Wars themed coloring book, and I knew I had to have it. So I bought this for myself, not for anyone else. And she also had some pre drawn ones there on the table. Um, I'll, I'll show that a little bit of, uh, I recorded a little bit, so I'll show that right here. Here is one that I picked up. Last year I picked up Daenerys with three dragons and so this year I picked up Jon Snow to kind of just pair them together. Sorry if you are not caught up on Game of Thrones but anyway I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. Another artist that I love is Loco Duck. Here are three prints I got for him from him all different things that I really really like. So the first one is Deadpool as a panda hugging a, another panda, Chewbacca and C-3PO. The last one of course is Stitch. I really like his style. He has two different styles. Um, I like his more cartoony one. I, I also have some prints from him, la from him last year. So just adding more to my collection right now. So those are all my prints and from here on out are all toys. So the first toy is the Lego Brickhead exclusive. I did not get the lottery for this but a friend of mine did and he got this for me. Uh, I paid retail or I paid him back for it. So yeah, always have friends. First one is the flocked Chewbacca with pork. That is the FYE exclusive. I actually got two of these and the booth was insane on Thursday. Um, I waited at least an hour before I was able to pay only because I think they were having issues with the payment system. Everybody was running towards, uh, towards them because they wanted to get Pennywise from it as well as Norman Bates, which was also another um, limited exclusive. So I also got K2SO. This was found in, I believe, Barnes & Nobles as well as the Funko Booth. Um, I did not get the Funko Booth lottery as well, but I also had another friend who did. So he was able to pick that up for me. Um, I got the Liana Mormont exclusive. This was a shared exclusive with FYE. However, they did not have this at their booth. So when I found out, um, I, I'm a, I only really collect Game of Thrones. I have all of them except for some really rare ones. But I, when I found out that they, were, they did not have this at the booth, what I did was I had to order this online. So I ordered two of them and I got them yesterday. Let's see. Another exclusive, I'm gonna get these out of the way. Another exclusive is the Balrog from Lord of the Rings. This glows in the dark and is six inches tall. So if you compare this with Chewbacca, it's a lot shorter. So this glows in the dark. I haven't tried this yet. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, but this was found at the Funko booth as well as Barnes and Nobles. But my friend picked it up for me. So there you go. Let's see. Got this stitch statue. Oh, let me fix this. Um, my husband actually got this for me as a surprise. Stitch, stitch anything, honestly. Just, if you want to make, make me happy, just buy me anything stitch. 
Uh, next, I went to Fugitive Toys. This is not an exclusive. This is a common, but this is the Battle of the Bastards Game of Thrones 2 pack. It has Jon Snow and Ramsay Bolton. Or, uh, yeah, Ramsay Bolton. So, yes, this, I believe, just came out. Fugitive Toys had it. It was only one, and I had to have it. So, it's in my hands now. Let's see, what else? Um... This is not a toy, this is really a book, but I've been eyeing this book for a while. It's not like it's hard to find or anything, but the reason why I picked it up was there was a booth that if you had signed up with their mailing list, they would give you 10% off. So I signed up for the mailing list, so I was able to get this below retail just a little bit. Um, and I'm, I started reading this yesterday, pretty excited. This is about Princess Leia's uh, journey before A New Hope and how she got to that point. Pretty excited. This author is really great, Claudia Gray. So uh, I'm excited to try this book as well as other books that she has written for the Star Wars universe. Um, also at Comic Con, there was a booth, uh, pop-up booth for HBO, and they had near Comic Con exclusives and. I love blind boxes. I already opened it, but I love blind boxes, so I had to get it. it were, they had about 16... No, I'm sorry. Um, how many pins? Eight pins. Eight pins uh, with the different houses or sigils from the different houses, and each box was four, 14 or 15 dollars, I forgot, and it comes with two pins. Uh, the guy at the booth was like, I'm sorry, you can't exchange it in, in case you got the you know house that you didn't like. I actually got two of my favorite houses, Lannister and Targaryen. So I'm not really a big you know, Stark fan. A lot of people are, but these two are my favorite houses right here. Let's see, what else did I get? So, let's see. Uh... There was a fandom booth, and they had t-shirt designs there. They had four different designs, and there was one Wonder Woman, Star Wars, Game of Thrones, and Super Mario. And they were screen printing these shirts while you watched. So my husband was with me, so I got two shirts. The first one, obviously, is Star Wars. The I could not choose the color. The color depended on the day. So... Red was uh, Friday, so that was Star Wars, and the second one is Game of Thrones. And the line wasn't too long, it was about 25 minutes or so. And the last one, la well actually not really the last one, I got, I also got Boba Fett from the Funko booth, but my friend has it right now, so I'll probably post a picture here somewhere to show you how it looks like. So that one I won't get until probably two weeks when I see him. But here is one that I just got. So I'm going to open this box up in front of the video. This is another exclusive and this one was from Books A Million. Ooh. Oh wow, they packaged it really well. I'm just going to throw all this to the side. So there are two boxes in here, but only one of them is actually the exclusive. I'll open up the other one, but it was a Books A Million exclusive. Let's see. So this one I'm pretty sure is the near Comic Con exclusive. And if you have been following them, you probably know what it is because as I mentioned before, I collect Game of Thrones ones. And that is, or this is, I don't want to crush the box. Jack and Hagar. So this was a Books A Million exclusive. Just for fun, let me open up the other one. Just to show you. It is 
Jon Snow and Bran Stark. This one is a Books A Million exclusive and it's so hard to get it out. I'm going to open up the back to push it through the box just to show you guys. I have a lot. Maybe one day I'll do a video on how many pops I have. But here you go. Like I said, this is not New York Comic Con exclusive, but since it was in the box with another one, I just decided to open it. So, um, actually, I almost forgot. So, I was talking about different experiences and everything like that. Um, and I, I guess I was moving on so quickly, I forgot. Uh, the one experience that I enjoyed the most, well, one of the experiences that I enjoyed, um, top three probably, is the Star Wars experience. There was a booth and they were only filming on Friday. So the lines were super long and I didn't understand why, but I was walking through the booth and there were a whole bunch of stormtroopers that walked in and I knew I had to go because I have this obsession with stormtroopers. So we waited online. It took a long time. It, after we waited online and signed up, we had to sign a release form because they were recording us for marketing purposes. It took us maybe another three to four hours to actually go inside. So when you go inside, there was like a little exhibit with props from the newest movie. And you'll walk around and all of a sudden the lights start flashing red. And they actually chose one of us that was in the group and posted us on the screen that said wanted. And from there, uh, two um, rebellion officers, people, would come in and they would actually uh, try to help this one person that was in that group. Doors open and Kylo Ren walks out and he uses the force to strangle one of the, the, the people that are trying to help you and the other one helps you escape through a door and he eventually kills the second person. At this time, stormtroopers are actually coming in and checking all of our badges and saying things like, oh, let me see your identification. And from there, um, after the whole scene, they actually kick us out of the exhibit. At that point, um, I was trying to film and some of the stormtroopers were trying to push me through. Um, so it was, it was a very interesting experience. Uh, my brother didn't get to experience it because uh, he went on Saturday and apparently they were only filming on Friday. So if you did not get to see that, you, that that's what you missed. But apparently um, the last show that they had or last recording they had, they opened up the door so people couldn't stand outside and watch. From the For the rest of the day when they were doing the filming, they actually closed it off and nobody could see what was going on inside. So they wanted to, I guess, maintain... Um, the mystery or anything like that so that was my new york comic con for 2017 super super excited i know i talk really fast and i kind of breezed through all of my toys um because i had a lot there were some things that i actually wanted to buy two of the things i wanted to buy the most was those uh, was one a lightsaber i was very very tempted to buy a lightsaber but I don't have one, so it's too expensive. It starts at like $350 and it ends somewhere around $800. And um, the one I wanted started at $500, I believe it was, the hilt. Um, but it was very cool, so I might eventually get one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the second thing I really was tempted to buy was the mystery boxes. So I've seen them in past years uh, it's been this is my fourth year going to comic-con and I was very very tempted before and now they have bigger booths and different boxes different size boxes as well as themed ones and I've been staring at the Harry Potter themed box as well as um, I believe it was the there was Game of Thrones themed boxes but I think it was a different booth but I just I've, I've bought boxes before online and I've always felt a little disappointed so I was a little afraid that um, I would not like what was inside so if you did buy one of those mystery boxes comment below and let me know if it was worth it I really want to know what's inside I mean I 
tried to look online to see what other people have posted but haven't seen them yet so if you have a video of you unboxing one or if even if you bought one and opened it and you believe it's worth the money let me know so the one that i was looking at was the harry potter one it was i believe 40 dollars and has at least five items from the harry potter universe or harry potter themed so you know let me know did i make a mistake should i have bought it uh, maybe next year I'll buy one based off of what you guys say. Comment below. So this video is obviously a little different than all of my drone videos out there or that are in my um, channel. I'm using this to kickstart another category or another part of my channel. It's all going to be really about just geeky dorky things and me crafting. So it's more of a vlog slash nerdy crafty thing really just me <laughs> me talking um that's it so like i said comment below if i should have bought the, the mystery box subscribe if you like to see nerdy crafty stuff because they're coming i'm hoping to do it um so drone videos on thursday and possibly these types of videos on friday saturday i haven't decided yet but let me know what you think Bye.